it's the Adventures of Farb and Christine, and it is uh, week three, September 6th, Sunday. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I didn't have a whole lot going on except for work. Um, but you know, Farb uh, is ex learning more about Bellingham and uh, had a few more adventures or excitement. <laughs> sure. Yeah, a few highlights. Um, you know, certainly this is the week where uh, my predecessor, Janice, kind of spent her last day or two uh, at work and, you know, got the, the big tearful goodbyes and all that kind of stuff. We are going to hang out a little bit tonight. At least that's the plan. Um, that probably won't make this week's footage, but maybe it'll be recapped in next week. Uh, but yeah, officially took over. I'm the big boss now. Woo! Farb's reign of terror began on about Tuesday at 10 a.m. <laughs> um, and yeah, just a, a lot of good stuff at work. Some some boring stuff and a couple not so good things, but mostly mostly positive. We'll say 85% positive, 60% amazing, 10% boring, and 5% we can do better. Um, what did happen? Uh, I had a taco fail. Yeah, I'm gonna just say it. Taco fail. Uh, I identified a spot on Yelp that I wanted to check out, but figured I'd utilize my resources and I got some feedback from some of my some of my new team, and I was pointed towards a taco truck, which looked incredible. I was excited, immediately pushed back my plans, went to the taco truck after work, and it was cash only. And whoops, I don't carry cash. Normally, that might change. Um, so rather than trying to find an ATM and all that nonsense, I figured, well, I'll just go to plan B. So I went to, uh, it's called Mia, Me, Me Rancho Mark, Meat Market, something like that. Um, which also, again, that was my original plan. It looked great on online. Actually, it looked pretty good in person too, but wow, I don't know what the heck was going on. Should have filmed, but yeah. Uh, there were probably like three different lines inside the, inside the place. There was like a little order kiosk uh, immediately when you walked in and there were some people kind of standing there. There were some folks facing that. There were some folks coming from another direction and some other folks coming from a third direction. I literally heard people saying, I don't know where the line is or if I'm in line or what's going on, and I just noped the heck out of there. Nope. So, uh, I wound up at taco time. <laughs> I don't know, uh, whatever. So, taco fail, I apologize. We'll do better this week. I'm gonna have some cash, I'm gonna hit that, uh, hit that taco truck. Uh, when, uh, when my coworker wrote down the name of the place, it, uh, it had an umlaut in the U. I'm like, wow, I've never seen a, uh, you know, a Hispanic uh, word with an umlaut before. Maybe I haven't been paying attention, but that either makes it crazy legit or I'm going to find some uh, some pretzels and sauerkraut in my taco. But either way, that's the plan this week. Um, if not, I'll find a better spot than taco time. I promise. Um, what else did I do this week? Oh, got the mini fridge for my office. Oh, yeah. So um, this is a constant uh, struggle of mine. I mean, I really need to just stop moving stores. Let's park it in Bellingham for a while, shall we? Uh, but I <laughs> uh, had a nice little mini fridge uh, in Linwood. Um, that just wouldn't fit in my car, uh, so I, I, I donated it to my to my coworker Des. How you doing, Des? Uh, when I left, and uh, the Linwood team, as a thank you, Farb, we wish you the best. Bought me the identical fridge, which <laughs> still wouldn't fit in my car. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So um, so Matt, uh, who was working at Linwood at the time and lived in Renton, uh, brought it down in his SUV after work one day, and that was awesome. Thanks, Matt. Um, but of course, as I was packing up South Center for uh, Bellingham, uh, guess what doesn't fit in the car still? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dragonfly. <laughs> um, <laughs> the fridge. So I uh, gave that to Todd. Todd, you're welcome. I hope it's filled with premium beverages and keeps you refreshed throughout the fall season and beyond. Um, but yeah, I, so hey, uh, Target, a go-go. So got the, got the fridge. Um, was hoping to get one without a freezer because I never used the freezer anyway, but Whatever, it's basically the same thing. Looks pretty cool. Uh, fits beautifully and uh, you know, it's a great Keurig stand too. So, Operation Pimp My Office round one, total success. Total success. Um, trying to think of what else. I mean, the days just kind of disappeared into, you know, getting the job done at work and such. Uh, but lo and behold, I'd say before you knew it, but you know, it seemed to take forever. Friday was here and I hit the road south to uh, reunite with my sweet little wifey here. <laughs> Um, so yesterday, what did we do? We had a um, nice walk along the Cedar River Trail. I mean, we're having a nice walk now, but you know, 
electrical lines crackling overhead are not quite as... And dragonflies. And dragonflies. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Figured you'd find the dragonflies by the river, but oh well. <laughs> um, had a beautiful walk yesterday. No heron. I'm sorry. Mm. We'll have at least two more weekends to catch that bird. You know, the next heron I see, I'm just going to assume it's the same heron. Even if it's in Bellingham or, <laughs> you know, Wisconsin or whatever. I don't know. I'm just saying it might be a while until I see another heron. Um, yeah, nice walk. We went to uh, Safeway just to stock up on some stuff for Christine for the next week and get me some water and some snacks for our little beach party tonight, if that happens. Um, oh, yeah. Then we were going to hit Ikea because, you know, we live three miles from an Ikea. Why not? Everyone else uh, had the same idea. Yeah, Labor Day weekend. It's the one Ikea in the state. Uh, that I know of at least so yeah it was packed I mean we had a little trouble finding parking sort of um, a couple but, hundred people in line. Uh, at least yeah I mean we kind of approached the building and saw a little bit of a line and decided against it but as we were leaving uh, <laughs> check this out I don't know if that tent is involved like a Disneyland you know wind your way through to to take up more room that doesn't seem like very social distance friendly uh, but around the corner it, it extends too so uh, that was, uh, yeah, forget that. I mean, for a couple couple things, a shelf or something, mm, new. So we're, we're making a list. Um, Christine will probably uh, head over there one of these days on a day off or weekday. after work or something, you know, mid, mid Midday, Tuesday, yeah. 2 p.m., something like that, when no one's uh, really uh, trying too hard to outfit a dorm room or something. Uh, yeah, so instead we went to Wajimaya. I got some uh, some noodles for the week because you got to have noodles. At least I do. And uh, yeah, then what? I made omo rice for dinner with plenty of leftovers just in case Christine needs a nibble on something quick and quick and tasty. And uh, yeah, watched the caught up with family. Watched the Mariners uh, beat the Rangers. Mariners are actually playing pretty well lately. Nice little streak they're on. Only four games out of a playoff position. We won't worry about that. Uh, yeah, then went to bed. <laughs> and here we are. So that's uh, that's the week again. Until we get established. Oh, I should mention we did get our lease. We signed it and all that stuff too. Okay. That's probably where I should have let off. Sorry. Yeah, we have a place to live. We do. We're not so, home. So uh, where did Christine go? There she is. So... Yeah, at least until we get moved in and set up, you know, the weekly vlogs are going to be kind of like this, I'm afraid. Uh, at some point, I'll get them a little more, I don't know, streamlined or, you know, capture a video with the purpose of the vlog as opposed to like, oh crap, let me, let me take a quick snapshot of the taco place. Or, you know, here's me rolling a fridge down the mall. <laughs> uh, you get the idea. But, uh, uh, I don't know, anything... Uh, Anything coming up this week? Tomorrow's Labor Day. I don't expect it to be... I mean, hopefully it's busy at work. On Saturday, we are planning to do Katsu Burger. Uh, probably every Saturday between now and when we move. Two Saturdays left! Yeah. Outside chance of a third. Um, I don't know. The apartment's supposed to be ready on the 22nd. There you go. Uh, gonna be a good week. Looking forward to week four. Um, ultimately, I just want to make sure I got my game down so that episode 007 can be full of adventure and danger. License to entertain. A view to a cheese danish. Um, yeah, cool. So, with that in mind, uh, we'll probably leave you with a little, little shot of us at the at the viewpoint, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. I don't know who you are, but I miss you. Yeah. <laughs> So, talk to you soon. Bye.